Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Linsens video. And today I have a fragrance that I've been meaning to review for probably the last two months or so. Um, I actually received this fragrance about almost a year and a half ago. The wifey bought it. Um, I just had to have this fragrance. Uh, she was shopping at Nordstrom. She was like, hey, if you want anything, let me know. So I took a look and one fragrance popped up. Um, it was actually like a recommendation. So, um, you know, I've seen the Sauvages on there, the Blue de Chanel and some other stuff. But there was one that really caught my eye. And I was like, man, can you get this for me, babe? She was like, it's expensive. I was like, I know, but you know, I'm not going to spend the money on it because I'm cheap. I will not spend like a hundred dollars on that one like one fragrance never like if it's like a, a multiple of fragrances yes i'll spend over a hundred but not just for one fragrance i'm that damn cheap so usually when i want something real expensive i beg the wifey she'll get it for me and now she knows that uh i do a lot of fragrance swaps so she's always on the lookout to see if i swap this one and the fragrance i'm gonna talk about is from the house of baxter of california that is this pacific cannabis now this uh baxter of california they make a lot of grooming products for men i think they make stuff for women as well a lot of unisex this fragrance itself is probably unisex i would say it leans more towards the masculine side though but any woman can rock this as well um but this fragrance right here is gonna have you thinking it says on their website it's gonna have you thinking that you're on a walk on venice beach the boardwalk of venice beach uh, I've never been there. I'm assuming maybe a lot of people are either high over there or just like in a good mood and probably got shorts on, nice little beach top. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that's what they mean by it's going to have you feeling like you're over there at the uh, Venice Beach Boardwalk. But before I get into the fragrance, let me just start with the notes real quick. We got top notes of pink pepper, rosemary, and bergamot. In the middle, we got cannabis, lavender, and sage. And at the base, we got driftwood, patchouli, and tonka. Okay, so you guys know tonka's gonna give it that sweetness at the end. I already sprayed this on about three hours ago. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a dry down uh, take as well. So I'm gonna reapply some right here so I can give you that opening. And now on the website, it also states that this stuff will not get you high. So um, you can wear this when you go get that drug test. Don't have to worry about pissing brown stuff or something, whatever. Whatever piss looks like when you're high. So you don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about failing that drug test. Don't have to worry about a police officer pulling you know pulling you over and then whooping your ass because he's gonna have to get quite close. If he gets close enough, he's gonna think you're smoking something, okay? So this is not a super loud fragrance, okay? This is about at least arm's length where people are going to be able to notice you and smell you the performance on this is easily six to eight hours um this is definitely a nice spring summer type fragrance but man when you first spray this you're kind of getting that bergamot you're kind of getting those um those uh spices those sage that pepper that rosemary and then right in the middle of all that you'll start getting these whiffs of yourself you're starting to ask yourself, man, was I smoking something? And that's where I kind of feel that that's the cannabis. Or it could be just the rosemary and the sage working together to kind of give it a cannabic. Is that a word? Cannabic note? Cannabis note? Cannibalistic? Cannibalistic note? So this is the dry down. And I'm definitely getting that tonka bean, that nice, sweet, green, earthy from the patchouli. And then you got that driftwood. So it's nice, woody, a little bit of sweet. Now the top. Yeah, again. Um, you're going to kind of notice just a little slight smell of cannabis, okay? It's not too loud, so you're not going to offend nobody. This is definitely nice. Again, like I said, spring, summer, or if you're going into work, you want to smell light, crisp. You want to smell uplifting. This is the one for you guys. 
man when i first got this um or actually when i first started getting into the uh review game um there's a few people that i actually sent out a uh free sample of this just to show my appreciation of the support um and if you guys you know want another sample of this stuff let me know um if you guys can show your support and continue uh to support me i'll definitely send you guys out some samples if you guys want but yeah this one um will definitely turn some heads a little bit like i said if they get close enough they're gonna think someone's smoking it's not super loud but it there is a little whiff so when you get these little breezes here and there these little light drifts of wind whatever you're gonna smell that little weed okay but man that sage that rosemary the bergamot working together like i said this makes it a nice easy wear nice and crisp nice and light nice and uh earthy greeny that's funny earthy and greeny yeah cannabis of course this is gonna be green and earthy right but um man i like this stuff man this stuff easily like i said six to eight hours um the scent itself is nice it's not gonna wow everybody this is not a wow fragrance this is not a blow your mind fragrance this is just a very nice simple fragrance that's gonna get the job done. If you just wanna smell good, you wanna smell clean, you wanna smell fresh, smell earthy, green, little bit of cannabis, little bit of woods, little sweet from that Tonka at the end, you're gonna like this, guys. Guarantee it, all right? So there you guys have it. That is Pacific Cannabis. About damn time. I finally did a review on this bad boy. As you can see, the juice is kinda dipping low. Man, I only got like a few bottles where the juice is getting this low, and this is one of them, so. It just goes to show you how much I like it. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right? Peace out. Yeah! <laughs>